What's good, people? JB Illusion here, back in Moldheim, City of the Dam, with the Carl of Chaos. I apologize, I didn't have a great rhyme prepared like I usually do. We just have a really interesting situation. So, so far, we've taken out two of the three big enemies that we have to take out. Well, we do also have to take out Filch, but we have to lower him out first. Right now, there's one other... Okay, come on, Cole. Cole, Cole, come on. It's it's not that hard to walk up. There we go. Good job, Cole. There you go. So, from what I understand, our next enemy... Is he somewhere up here? Okay. He is all the way... Wow. I think somewhere in these here parts. Somewhere out there. At least that's my opinion. I might be wrong on that. We're going to have Cole pick up this weird stone, most likely. And we're going to have everybody move up. I feel a little bad for moving Cole out here. I feel like he may be waylaid at any point in time, but maybe we'll worry about that as time goes on. I do know that there is a fairly substantial enemy in this area, so I probably should have taken a lot more, you know, patience, consideration. But we'll see how that works out. Alright, let's keep moving. We did a pretty good job taking care of both of the Skaven. I, I want to call them Gracers, but I know they're not technically Gracers. We're going to delay, of course. Because I left someone, you, you know, blocking a pathway. But now it's kind of hard to actually move out of that area. Talorik, Ticket Taker. Come on, Talorik. Come on, there you go. Get up there. We're moving on up to the east side. East side apartment. In the sky, we're moving on up. I I don't know what that musical interlude was for. I just did it. We're going to hide to look right over there just so, you know, he has a chance to take some shots. We'll, we'll see how that works out. Cherubal's coming through as well. I mean, part of me wants to say that if anybody's going to get hit, let it be Cole. But another part of me is actually dreadfully afraid because Cole is probably our strongest base fighter. You know, he isn't really a huge like hero threat, but he can put in some work when necessary. Okay, we're going to wait over here. A new round has started. Okay, we're going to need our monster to come through here as quickly as possible. Oh, Thraka the Beast. Okay. Okay, yeah, we're going to need you to move up here, man. Um, do we like ambush? Just in case, so just in case, Thraka will cover Cole because that thing may come through, and I don't want to have to deal with that. Okay, it didn't come through, which means we have time to work on him. So, what I'm assuming we need to do is have Cosmo the Jester use one of his idols, or uh, okay, hmm, how far away is that thing? Like, I want to do some surveillance. But I'm afraid that we're going to get waylaid by that gigantic monstrosity. Alright, so we've got items to pick up there. I don't think... Okay, where is he? So he's right over here. Let's try to mark that on our map. There we go. So now we know where he is. We can see it. Also, I feel terrible for whatever happened here at the docks. Somebody's entire ship went belly up. Or multiple ships for that matter. So what's interesting is we could climb up here and maybe be able to do something interesting. We do have an item that should actually neutralize whatever terrible, whatever strange magics the Skaven have cast upon themselves. And I think if we use that, we might be able to just snipe him from that position. Oh. We'll find out. Um, We'll take the spear. I mean, it's a blue spear. I'll take it. We're probably not going to get much use out of it, but we could always give it to somebody. I mean, we could give it to, Lor to, to Lork Ticket Taker. And we'll just end our turn here. Or maybe we'll get another really intriguing unit to add to the... To add to our carnival. Hmm. It's almost Murga's turn now. What's interesting is Murga and this guy are also on the same level. So he may be a little bit more difficult to take on. What I would really like to do, what's Murga have on her? He's got the Warp Rod. So that's what I was talking about. An arcane rod imbued with protective magic. The rod can also be used to reverse the protection as bestowed. So, 
what I'm assuming is that the current protection on him is I, I forget how it works it's like 99% chance to dodge whatever missile fire is at him so what we could do is reverse that and give him a 99% chance to just deal with whatever physical melee attacks but we could just start shooting him because he goes back to being a normal skaven they say normal rat, but that's that's rude. Okay, so we also have some lumber here as well. She can't really pick that up, but we're gonna climb up and see what we could do. Wow, Murgo. Look, I, I know you love the heavy armor, it looks good on you. It, it works great with the whole evil sorceress thing. But maybe, just maybe, you might want to put on some leather armor, maybe some robes. I I, I know. You know, maybe you're not a huge fan of robes. I can understand that. But, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Maybe you want to rock the robes, love. Okay. We can't boost everybody up. Ah, I hate, I hate having to walk up this. So, if we stood right here, we'd be able to... Oh, up, 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 up. Okay, there we go. Now we can cast one gigantic buff for the entire team. Or at least I was hoping one gigantic... Ah... Really? So we can only hit roughly three people, it looks like, is our max? Really, these two are going to be taking the brunt, so we'll just focus on them. Alright, beautiful. So both of them are feeling a little bit better. Um, we're also going to boost somebody's weapons. Because Thraka is the one who's probably going to be engaging the most. Weapons destruction failure, and he's now dumbfounded. Let's, let's avoid doing anything else. Area failed once. Let's not try to repeat that. And we're going to get Resk hopefully up into a position where he can shoot down on others. Actually, the perfect place would, of course, be where Marga was trying to get to. Is there a way for him to climb up into this building, perhaps? Okay, so we know that... Oh! There's another Skaven coming. Alright, that's not good. There's another Skaven on his way. We cannot run up into that building, so how are we going to move our marksman because we need to get him into a decent place to attack but we also need him covered by you know the squad hmm maybe we shouldn't have jumped up we're going to move him right here and overwatch just in case I don't know which way it's coming from hopefully it doesn't get critted but we're just gonna have to take that risk there's 154 level opponent and 139 level opponent as well coming through Hmm. That's a little difficult because we're taking these like really, really large. We're walking on eggshells around this giant monster. I can understand that. I'm sure you guys can as well. But it's kind of slowing us down a little bit. Part of me wants to just rush in there. But that's not the way. That's not the way. Because, yeah, we're going to wind up in a two-on-one situation, but if we can get Murga up there and we can get our marksman up in that area, we can reverse whatever's going on with that one Skaven wizard and then get some great shots off. So I think that's what we need to do. We're going to delay here. Yeah, we're going to delay. We'll just move as far... Oh, yeah. We're going to delay here. And we're going to have Thraka move into position. There's also more lumber that we can pick up, which is beautiful. We're also going to delay with him as well. We got to get our beast out. He's the only one who could really take on our opponent. He's the only one that I feel could go toe-to-toe -to -toe with whatever's coming our way. So, Talorik, you are going to switch weapons and kind of provi provide some type of protection. 26%. I'm sorry. You're the ticket taker here. You can stand to lose an arm. Our marksman can't. You know, he brings in the big business. Okay, that's not good. Somebody triggered a trap. Where are they? You can hear him. I think someone's climbing? There he is. Beautiful shot. See? That's why he brings in money. As opposed to the dude who just takes tickets. Barry? Okay, we got them this. Beautiful. So, that was a great play. Good stuff to Lorik. To Lorik one day will work his way up from being the ticket taker. He'll move up to something. 
So we can easily take the Skaven out. Actually, what we should probably do is have Cole move over here, and then he could assist in taking this thing down. Might as well go for the strong blow. Not bad. Dodge fail. Well, really, what we could have done there was kind of protect ourselves, save something for the parry if we, if we did get it off. That's my fault. And now we could have Jan Peter kind of sneak up over here. Climb, 95% chance. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And he should be able to finish this guy off? I would assume so. We don't really need to worry about precision striking here. So it's not too bad. How much do we have left? Uh, three. We just go for... Eh, we'll see. Just go for it. Not dead, sadly. Dodge stance, beautiful. And we still have the ability to hype everybody up. Mmm, there's another 39 coming as well. We're gonna have to push our assault. Because th these guys are just bugging me out. We can take them out reliably, but eventually they'll throw too many bodies at us. They'll throw more bodies than what we're reliably able to take down. That's the issue. Uh, don't be there. Is Cherubal actually going to have to be the one who helps the Rock of the Beast take this thing out? I hope not, but he just might have to be. Sticky Sludge! We can use these, actually. I'll grab two, and worst case scenario, we're going to have to make some changes. Worst case scenario. What we could do is actually throw the sticky sludge at the opposing enemy. And just work him down. That wouldn't be too bad. That's actually not the worst plan ever. We could, we could make that work. Okay, there's two other, there's one other character that we're kind of going to have to deal with. Where is he? Here, that is Scuttle Slinker. He's not Filch. But that's alright. We can take care of him. We're gonna be over here. We're gonna dodge stance. We're gonna pull back to like here. He sees us, we see him, and we'll sidestep. And let's just get prepared. Oh, he's stupid. Okay. That makes our job a lot easier, actually. Marcian, switch weapons. We might actually be able to get a shot off on this guy. Nah, not gonna happen. Okay, so Marcian, just work your way this way. This is definitely gonna be a slow and methodical. 54%? Ah. I, I had high expectations for that shot. To be completely honest with you. Okay, so we're gonna... He's stupid right now. We'll pick that up later. No, but if we do hit him with it, what's going to wind up happening is he'll just move out of range. Hmm. We're going to have to get some marksmen over this area. We'll see if we can... No, we can't pick up wood either. Hmm. We're, we're slowly just going to have to take out some opposition. We can't really do too much this turn. Sadly. Murga, get up there! Good. Alright. Can she hit him with the rod from here? No, she can't see him. Really, Murga? Murga can't see him from here. There's more items, which is lovely. A lot of items, actually. But Murga's all full up. So what'll happen is we'll just have to ransack this a little bit later. I'm upset that we can't get the shot off. Like, incredibly upset we can't get the shot off, but at least now we know what's going on up here. So, Murga, jump back down. And what are we going to have you do, love? Let's move forward with Murga. And we'll throw Chains of Chaos out. We might as well start working this thing down quickly. And it failed. Can we throw out one more Chains of Chaos without her just spontaneously combusting? Beautiful. There we go. Okay, so Murga didn't spontaneously combust. We could pull her back and prepare for the assault. That thing, I'm actually pretty upset about that. Yeah, he's blessed with filth now. Congratulations. 
Well, he's dumbfounded, so that'll at least help us a bit. We've got two more wooden stacks to pick up. Fifty check failed. Yep. It's one of those days, y'all. It's one of those days. It's one of those days. Eventually he'll pass his stupidity check, but... I'm a little upset that this had to happen, actually. Because right now they're marshalling their forces, and we've just had, like, two turns of nothing. I'm trying to set up for, like, the perfect... That's, what, that's why I like dwarves in Warhammer. Because you take everything slow and steady, and eventually, you know what, you'll be alright. Uh, Warpstone Fragment, Trinket. Really, the Fragment isn't worth it. We need to start picking up wood so we can build these planks to get to... Uh, not good. Could have been worse, but still not good. Because our inventory is full. How about them apples? Let's walk all the way back here. I, this actually does kind of bug me out that I have to find like a, a handy dandy corpse or just a chest. Alright, now we can pick this wood up. Okay, so we got one wood plank and I think we need one more to actually get to this dude. And that thing's still there waiting for us. We got the sludge bombs. Lore can switch his weapons right now. And he could get himself within range to do something. Overwatch. Because eventually, like our current leader, eventually they gotta pass some type of track. I'm gonna move over here and just get that sidestep going. Somebody, I'm assuming, is going to come just around the river bend, which is gonna be an issue. But we should be able to take care of him. Oh, this is annoying. Okay, so he's coming around that side. That's kind of... Ah. Uh, that's what I get for being indecisive, ladies and gentlemen. We've got the sticky sludge. And we move right into, you know, attack range without having to deal with the sticky sludge. Can't even throw the sticky sludge. Wait, we can throw the sticky sludge and I can still get a normal attack off? Okay. Throw on the sticky sludge. Right around here. Boom. Get caught. Eventually. And Cherubal, the man with the axe, making the screen freeze because he got that crit. That was beautiful. Good job, Cherubal. I, I appreciate you. I appreciate you for everything that you do here. A new round but the beautiful part about having the sticky sludge out is that we should be able to eventually deal with some things. We're just going to delay. We're just going to delay. I apologize, you guys. These are my tactics. You have to remember that. He failed his stupidity check. Okay. I don't know how many turns the sticky sludge will be out. But you could probably guess me and guess what I'm thinking. I just I'm just crossing my fingers that we can eventually take this guy out. <laughs> He's stupid too. Ah, uh, everybody just doesn't know what they're doing right now. Possibly including me. We could do word of pain. All right, let's let's hit him up with the word of pain. Oh yeah, can't really do word of pain without injuring everybody else in the vicinity. Isn't that a handy dandy ability? Or actually, let me read it because I don't know too much about word of pain. I rarely use it. Enemies within five meter radius around the caster deals. Okay, so we should be able to use word of pain without. Horribly injuring our people. There we go. So we'll cause a little bit of damage on him. Can we can we hit him up with it again? No, we can't. Can she get in right there? Beautiful. Really, I shouldn't have even hit him with word of pain. 
Should just went in on him like that. Like that, y'all. Like that. And now, eventually, we can slowly figure out what else we're doing. So we've got one plank. So we're going to hop from there to the other side over there. And then we should be able to lure Filch out, I'm assuming. It doesn't look like there's many other issues to deal with over here. We're just going to pull back right here. Dodge stance it up. He's been taken out, and we at least have the sludge bombs out. Alright, there we go. He passes to Bitty check. We're going to boost up. Well, not everybody. We're gonna boost up everybody in this area. Can we can we extend it just a little bit? No, we can't. Okay. Boom. Take a shot. Beautiful. And let's pull back to around here. Reload. And then can we hit that overwatch? Beautiful. We'll hit that overwatch. He should move forward, I would assume. He should move forward. And then we can take, a, take care of him. I really want to see if Rest can just hit this shot. Or if he can position himself... No. No, I should have known he wasn't actually going to be able to do that. But I, I had that, like, hope. That Rusk would just be able to do the un the unimaginable. And we'll just overwatch stance. I don't know if he'll hit him if the creature gets stopped by the, um, the pit. But we'll see. Um, can't really do too much until he moves. So I guess maybe just hit sides up. Just in case some, like, ridiculous thing happens. Okay, so that is an enemy that we're going to have to take care of. He shouldn't be too bad. He's only 54, but he may complicate things while we go after the other enemy. Marcy and reload. And then we could also take a pot shot off at this thing. Beautiful. At least we're hidden. We're chunking him down slowly but surely. And Marcin's gonna have to move back to... Okay. Use up all of your strategy points. There we go. End turn. Cherubal. You might as well end turn, I guess. Maybe parry. Uh, you can't really parry bullets, but hey. And sidestep just in case something tries to sneak up on us. You got him. To Lork. Can you take a shot from here? I don't think he can. I like how we're handling this situation. We have a revolving, you know, just contingent of archers. Taking care of business. I like that. Taking. Oh my god. Is that dude nailed to. Wow. I just now noticed that. These Skaven may have some issues, but then again, supposedly Filch is a depraved. Skaven. Also, I love the fact that he just charged right through that. That's that's how we handle it out here. We just charge right through those. This will be easy enough to take out. Um, part of me really wants to disengage, but we can't disengage because the character we chose. Or the warband that we chose. So just hit him up. And then we're going to hit this parry. All right. But yeah, these guys are gonna keep coming. A new round has started. I really wish we could get him up in here. But then again, at this point in time, we might as well just take the back way. But they need to clear the back way. Poor beast. Yeah, the reinforcements are bugging me out. Failed the stability check again. Perfect for us. So let's just. Forget about it. Let's just go. Now is the time to be rash and impulsive. Okay, I'll take that. Did not want to get hit by that. Now is not the time to be rash and impulsive. Because we just ate 45 points of damage for no reason. I didn't think he'd be able to get that second attack. After a charge. 
Did not think that happened. Okay, Murga, let's go. I'm just... Uh, I, we gotta do something here. One hit, especially since Murga was going to go next. She's really batting a thousand for us, so... There we go. Murga. Good stuff, love. Anything to actually really get off of his corpse? No? I thought, I thought so. Oh yeah, there was another scave in there. Go figure. Nice. Going through our own sticky sludge. Well, just ambush stance just in case. Oh, I hate Skaven. Just, just hate the Skaven. Despite the fact that Squeak, I, I, I hate all Skaven outside of Squeak. I think that's really the main thing here. Oh, he passed his fatty check. Congratulations. He's going to bless himself with more filth. I, I don't know how that spell works, but I'm assuming like the errant. Oh, he's going to start shooting at us. He's angling himself to start shooting at us. Rash, the ringmaster, what can we do here? We could change a chasm. Actually, that should probably keep him down to one attack or no attacks. Depending on how much it costs for him to actually attack. Those numbers I'm a little hazy on when it comes to Skaven. Just other characters in general. Alright, one arrow. Good job, everybody. We're going to reload, and then we're just going to, I guess, pile up. Nah, we'll take another shot. Probably should have made that name shot. Reload, and then just hide with everybody else. Resk. Okay, he can take a shot from there. 79, we'll take it. Nice. Okay. See, that's actually why Rasky paid the big bucks. Really no reason to actually... 25, beautiful. Really no reason to, you know, wait on that. Really no reason to actually go aimed on there. It's going to be 95% regardless. I wish our beast could, you know, do something. But that's okay. Because we're just over here dealing with this current creature. This current crisis. We took 45 points of damage that if I had scouted, I would have knew was coming. Which kind of pisses me off. But we should be okay. Marcian has to reload. Marcian can be another person that we throw into the fray. But just take your shot. And that is why Marcian does not get paid the big bucks. His art. <laughs> his acrobatics. Let's just go for the Beautiful. We had to actually aim that, but hey. I'm alright with that. Okay, so Cole should be able to come in and provide more damage on this thing. Uh, 28. If we hit with Strong Blow, which is 91%, he should be dead, I think. There we go. Perfect. We're gonna pick up more wood? No. It's gonna move over here. We jump down. No, we can't jump down because of where Trubal is currently standing. This is about all that we can do here. Alright, good news is pretty soon next turn, I guess, I probably should end this turn right there. Our beast will actually be able to do something. Jan Peter is going to move on this side. Just to prepare himself. Would have loved the sidestep, but hey. Because, you know, knowing my luck, next turn, 150%, this thing is going to stop be stupiding, be, being stupid and just charge us. Okay, we can jump down finally, but first we should probably... No, don't loot that. Okay, Sticky Sledge is also still an issue. Hold on. Uh, halberd. Okay, so we can't grab any wood planks, so we'll have to pick those up soon. We're gonna throw some more sticky sludge just out there. Uh, 
Okay. There we go. Perfect. And now I guess we just gotta jump down. And injure yourself horribly. Okay. So we can still see, we can slightly see that Skaven over there. Just come over here. I guess ambush up because there's another Skaven I completely forgot that is also coming after us. See, this is how you make bad decisions. We could charge and get embroiled into a life or death conflict. Let's try that next turn because he does have, he still has ridiculous initiative. Because he should be going first. There we go. We're going to move right outside of his, well that's the charge range. I may have just completely wasted some sticky sludge. In all honesty, we'll see what happens. Yep, he passes the pity check. Record my time. Or not! He passed the first stupidity check. He didn't pass the second one. Which is perfect. Because the beautiful part about this situation is we could set this up right around. Come on, come on, bring it around town. Let me see it, let me see it, let me see it. Here. And it does not reach him because I am bad at this. Ah, okay. It's alright, JB. You did something stupid. You'll recover. Eventually. Like, I thought I had it. I was maybe a little too big for my britches there. In attempting to do some things that I had no business doing. He's trying to get a shot off. He can't really get a shot off, but he's getting prepared. For the inevitable charge. We're going to walk over this way. Walk this way. Bloody Maw Shanks. Now that's a pirate name. I'm actually pretty impressed with that. We're going to calm her down. We could also, you know, throw a dark gift onto somebody. There we go. Let's go for that. Okay. They're going to be doing some more damage. And let's end our turn right now. Hmm. Been 30 minutes of just... Meh. More meh. I don't know if we're ever actually going to surpass all of the meh that is happening currently. Nice. Eventually, Bloody Maw Shanks will be put down. Let's reload. We're going to be taking not a shot, or at least I don't figure we'll be taking a shot. Okay, we still can't interact with that, which actually really sucks. Not bad. And we'll pull back to the side right here. Dodge stance. We still have to get Filch. That's my biggest issue with, with everything that's currently going on. We still got to get Filch. Take a shot. 95, perfect. So we're working him down quite well. I mean, they are going to have reinforcements. The only good thing about this situation currently is they're not going to have a reinforcement Rat Ogre. Reload. We don't have any protection on that side. But hopefully they should run into Jan Peter before, you know, we actually have a problem. Hmm. Reload for Marcion. Marcion's gonna have to be taking a shot soon as well. Marcion, to be completely honest, I feel is going to have to be the person that is going to be taking an impromptu shot to the possible face. Nice. So he's almost half health, which is good. And we haven't taken much damage from our actual beast himself, our impressive unit. I'll take that. 
And then we just need to reload and move slightly to the side. Or just move slightly to the side and hope nothing comes our way. Okay, coal. Gather some more wood planks. Get rid of the shield. The wood planks. Okay. So, hold on. First, we have to go into here. First, we gotta search a dead body. Get rid of the shield. Now. Now. We can go over here. And then we can pick up the wood planks. There we go. So, this is gonna get real. And we also know that the other Skaven is, of course, a coward. He's not, he's not testing us. He's not coming at us. So, let's build our forces and get ready to run in. Thank goodness he's not able to shoot us from here. End turn. We've got two more Skaven who are coming in. One, both of whom probably just have halberds. All birds, however you pronounce it. And they got hurt a lot. Are they coming from this direction? We don't see them yet. I'm assuming they're coming north. Let's just keep Jan Peter like right over here. Protected in this general zone is a really good place for him to be and then just get that just get that side step up There we go. All right get that side step up dog We the good news is we don't really need him to ah oh, crap Didn't assume they'd come that way That's a problem Okay, he's coming after Cole he gets ambushed or Cherubal, I, po I apologize. Good stuff. Alright, Taloric, we're going to switch your weapon. And you're going to be on repel duty. Or repelling the invaders duty. And he breaks his legs too. Fantastic. Vundava. What do we got from Cherubal? Yeah, just work him down, man. Work them down. You don't need to go crazy. As long as you're protecting us, we're good. Although Talorik is probably going to be the first person to take a shot. I'm going to be completely honest with you. If somebody has to be sacrificed, it's going to be Talorik. Because remember, we still have the Skaven wizard with the two guns. We, we could charge him right now, but no. He's going to possibly get charged, and I'd rather have sidestep, be able to dodge two of his attacks. Or most likely two of his attacks. We're going to... Delay Cosmo. Just slightly. Because we're going to have to do the rush. He succeeds in stupidity check, what's going to happen? Is he going to get caught again? It's two stupidity checks! And he failed... <laughs> He's failed the second one twice. So we're in a good situation here. We're, of course, going to err on the side of caution. Chains him up. And Talorg is going to be the guy to go first. Ah, oh, we failed. Okay, chains him up again. Come on, you got this. We got it? Beautiful. Okay, anything bad happened there? Nope, okay. We're going to jump down. Perfect. Maybe next turn she goes in on whatever other Skaven comes down this way. But right now she just needs to chill. He wants to shoot one of us. He hit Overwatch stance. Yeah, he's looking for he's looking for a shot. You are not giving it to him. Re rush, just reload and get ready to keep taking these shots. Actually, we really didn't have to move up too far for him. Just go for it. 87. It's 15. We're, we're really nickel and diming a monster right now. But then again, I'd rather nickel and dime it from far away than up close, if you know what I'm saying. We could get another shot. Reload. Yeah, take the shot again. I'm really surprised with Rash right now. Those archery lessons he'd been taking actually started to pay off. They were paying off for a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay. Resk, take the shot. Beautiful. Reload, and Resk is gonna have to take another shot. Beautiful. 
So I'm starting to think that what if the other Skaven Gracier has the reverse of what the other two had? You know, um, and his resistances rely on melee. But it's alright, we, we got the warp rod, we can just reverse it. Scuttle is still over there just shaking in his tiny Skaven little booties. His tiny Skaven booties, that's right. <laughs> I'm actually picturing that right now, just tiny Skaven booties. Marcion is going to have to reload. Honestly, I kind of want to take a shot with Marcion and move forward. Nice. Alright, now let's just jump down. Don't break. Why is everybody breaking their legs? Is that is it really like that scary of a situation? Could that possibly be it? Okay, we're going to switch weapons because he's going to be part of the assault party. Cole isn't going to go first. Um, we should delay with Cole because Taloric is going to be the one who's going to be taking this shot. Really, I should be waiting another turn, but I feel like something needs to happen. Yes! Beautiful. Wunderbar. Okay. We can also use him to gauge what's up with him. Okay, so he has... Yeah. He has a hundred or almost a hundred percent range resistance. That's perfect for us. There's the other Skaven who I don't know if he's coming around the other way since he can't get through. But if he's coming around the other way, Jan Peter should be able to take him out. Whoa, Jan. Okay. J Whoa. Whoa. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. J just chill out, Jan. What the heck is going Okay. Sidestep right now, Jan. You act a little odd there, compadre. Alright, now we can build this. Alright, one. We're not going to rush him right now. We're going to move to the side. Sadly, we're not going to be able to do a dodge stance. And the sad part... Ah, you missed the parry. It was... What, what's a sad part is that's three more damage than you took from just falling normally. Nice hit. Are we going to go for the second hit? Yeah, we might as well. Because, hey, we could always stun at some point in time, right? Parry stance up, 54%. Okay. There's still one other Skaven that we don't really know where they are. He's unaccounted for, but we should actually be able to take him out. He shouldn't be that big of an issue. A new round has started, a new round has started and we're just... This is kind of how I play a lot of things where, where we just kind of... Try to protect everyone as much as possible. We're going to keep Cosmo over here on delay. If Cosmo comes in and he drops down the Pestilence, that'd be great. Marcin is going to come in. Is he going to be the first to attack? Yes. Now, why is Marcin going to be the first to attack? Marcin's the first to attack to so we can surround our opponent. We've also got Murga who's coming up. And we got one other character who should be coming and we'll see how that works out. Okay, so he passed that. Beautiful. And we've got Murga coming through as well now. So Murga, we're gonna have you go this way, love. We could have Chains of Chaos in, but I'm just... We're just gonna beat him in the head. Beautiful. Okay. Let's get his Warp Rod. Um, we could get rid of, we'll get rid of the warp line. Oh, he's got a mace. So we're going to have to come through and just pick up all these things. But we've got his warp rod, which is fantastic. And I do believe that's going to be it for this series of episodes. Thank you all for watching. Please tune in next time when hopefully we catch Filch and we finally finish off this <laughs> This incredibly long story mission, but you know what? We're going through it. We're being methodical. 
and so far i feel like that's been paying off for us quite a little bit we've had some issues with some guys sneaking us but nothing too much you know that we can't really handle 45 damage to the face kind of sucked but we should be all right thank you guys for watching please be excellent to each other and have a nice day peace